Welcome to the video on how to add products via bulk upload. Inventory files are spreadsheets used to list products in Amazon's catalog. Here is how you can download the spreadsheet. On your Seller Central account, hover over the Inventory tab and click on Add Products via Upload. As a step 1, you need to select the category under which you want to list your products. You can directly search by entering the product name in the search box and then select the relevant path. Alternatively, you can use a product classifier tool to search for the appropriate category. You can also select products from multiple categories and download a collated inventory file for the same. Once you have selected the category, it will be populated under summary of your selected products. In step 2, select the type of template. The advanced mm -hmm. option contains all attributes groups associated with the above selected products. This option includes required, preferred and optional attribute mm -hmm. groups. Whereas custom option allows you to choose attribute groups associated with the above selected products that you can add to your template. This option includes the required attribute fields. For example, if your product category has variations, select variations from the attribute group. You can add or remove attributes using the given buttons. If you are wondering how to use a file pertaining to a category of your choice, simply scroll down and click on Inventory Files and select Category Specific Inventory Files. This option is highly recommended if you prefer to list your products under one particular category. Let's take an example by choosing the Advanced option and then clicking on Generate Template. When the inventory file gets downloaded, Always click on Enable Editing option to have access to edit the spreadsheet. The first sheet gives you an overview about the template. The second sheet provides image guidelines to be followed. You can refer to the example sheet and learn how to fill up the template. Data definition sheet defines all the attributes for your understanding. Click on the template sheet to start filling details about the product. Once you select the subcategory from the feed product type column, Fields that are mandatory will be highlighted in red. Other non-required cells for your product type will be grayed out. For certain cells, you will get a drop-down. Make sure to select from the drop-down and do not manually type any information here. If the drop-down option is not present, then refer to the valid value sheet to get the predefined values for the attribute, if any. Once all the required and optional fields that are relevant for your product have been filled, go to the Update Delete column and select Update from the drop-down. Mm -hmm. Remember to select Update whenever you are adding a new product, Partial Update when you are making changes to an existing listing in your inventory, and Delete if you are deleting any existing listing. Now mm -hmm. save the inventory file at a preferred mm -hmm. location on your system. Once saved, hover over the Inventory tab and click on Add Product via Upload. Click on the option Upload Your Inventory File. Select the file type from the drop-down and click on Choose File mm -hmm. to upload the file that you have previously saved on your system. After selecting the processing report format, click on Upload. Your flat file will now be processed. Processing time will depend on the file size. Review the status of this upload to make sure that all items are processed correctly. Once the processing report is available for download, click here to view the feed processing summary sheet to check if the uploaded spreadsheet has any errors. Check the error message example column in the table to understand the error type. Once it is clear which attribute or column name has to be updated, you can make changes to your inventory file accordingly and re-upload the file. That wraps up our video on how to add products via bulk upload. Thank you and happy selling!